place. This is it. Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, I'm gonna be reviewing Five Guys. I buy my chicken at Walmart, none of that whole food market bullshit. I buy my chips at Winkle, cause I'm a big young gringo. Alright, you guys. Sorry about the uh, weird uh, location over here. Um, I just didn't want to film it in my car. People were staring at me, so I thought, let's just do it someplace secluded. So, uh, this is my first time actually trying out Five Guys. The whole thing came out around $20 for just one burger, one fry, and two drinks. So anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the fries. Um, so these are the fries right here. They uh, look pretty crispy. Now, uh, the dude told me that one regular fry was able to feed two people. And uh, from the looks of it, not only did they give me a shit ton of napkins, but they also kind of flooded the bag with a whole shit ton of, uh, that's a cockroach. Okay, um, anyways, um, yeah, they uh, filled it up. So uh, we'll show it to the camera later, but let's go ahead and show off the uh, actual burger, which is a bacon cheeseburger with, let me go ahead and read the tag over here. Uh, mayo, lettuce, pickle, tomato, and grilled onions. Pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and unwrap this beauty, shall we? I also forgot to mention that we also have uh, Dr. Pepper and vanilla. This is my first time trying it out, so uh, yeah. And from the looks of it, the burger looks absolutely crisp. We got, uh, you know what, cameraman, Steve, come on. Come over here, come over here, Steve. All right, so we got the we got the sesame seed bun over here. We got some mayo, lettuce. Uh, we also got tomatoes, the patty and cheese, and we also got some bacon in there as well. Um, and the grilled onions are kind of a little hidden, but they're like right here. So, uh, all together we're getting a pretty beefy burger over here. Um, so let's go ahead and try it out. Um, so go ahead and sit back down, Steve, as I chow down on this. Ready. So, uh, let's go ahead and try out this, uh, this burger over here. That is another June bug. Ugh. Watch your light. I want to get a close-up on him. Let's give him like a little five guy. Here you go, man. Here you go. Dude, I think he's just stuck. Yeah, he is. It's okay though. Uh, Steve, let's go ahead and get back on the production over here. Oh, no, no, fuck. <laughs> fuck. Let's go ahead and eat this burger because it's already falling apart. So, uh... All right, all right. I gotta say, it's pretty good. But for like an almost ten dollar burger, I, I mean, I don't know. You know, I mean, let me let me get another bite. I don't know. I feel like the mayo is just like it overkicks the the flavor. It's it's too powering. Um. The lettuce is good. Um, the bacon is pretty juicy. The burger itself is uh, the patty. It's uh, it's juicy as well. It's um something. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and try its fries. I don't. I didn't bring any ketchup or anything. Like a complete total dumbass. I totally forgot to ask for it. So uh, we're gonna try it out completely naked, like they intended. So. Uh... Hey. It's actually pretty good. It's fat, lots of potatoes in there. Um, it's seasoned pretty well too. Um, yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Um, I probably shouldn't have left it, in the, left it out in the back too long. It's, uh, it's kind of cold, but uh, it's pretty good. Now to finish it off with Dr. Pepper Vanilla. I'm more of a coke person, but I mean, it's pretty decent. Uh, but it's my first time trying it, so uh, yeah. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of here and uh, review it in, in my car real quick. So uh, I'll catch you later. <clears throat> so, 
Alright, so after finishing that burger, I didn't even touch the fries. I just wanted to finish the burger because it's the, it's the meat of things. You get the joke. Um, but uh, I have to say that, uh, you know, it's, it's alright. I mean, the customer service, I think, is what the most famous for and the amount of customization that you're given. But um, with what I was... With what I put on the burger, I guess it wasn't really a good combination, I guess. So maybe I'll try it out next time with, instead of mayo, maybe ketchup, who knows. I also forgot to add pickles on here. Oh no, wait. I think they might have forgotten the pickles, because I did ask for pickles. Um, well, that's... <laughs> That's something, um, but yeah, I would I would have to probably give the burger maybe a a three out of a five, um, three being average. Yeah, um, for the fries though, I definitely love the fries. The fries are seasoned really well. Like I said before, there's a lot of meat in here, lots of potatoes. It's really fluffy too, um, and I think it would go well with a shake as well. Maybe vanilla, my favorite. So um, I would have to give the fries an astounding five out of five for the first time. Um, in and Out has nothing on these fries, so this McDonald's. Um, but yeah, out of out of the whole entire meal, I would probably give it um, a three point five out of a five. Um, will I go back there sometime? Probably not a year or so. Um, it's just too expensive for just one meal. Um, but it's it's something. Um, anyways, that that was it. Yeah. So, uh, bye.